What is up everyone and welcome back to our video. We are back out on the ice, got the Otter Hub popped up, got a beautiful day today, some nice warm weather, we're out of this polar vortex and uh, hopefully the fish start biting. So stay tuned, let's get in the hub, let's get at it. All right, in the shack, first things first, let's get our dead stick down like always. And uh, went to stop to get some nice sucker minnows today and uh, they were sold out at one of the bait stores. So went to another bait store, they were sold out too. So not sure what's going on there. It's like toilet paper at the beginning of the pandemic. So hey, looked in the back of my trunk, still had fun dogs frozen back there from uh, the other videos. So I figured, hey, why not? Let's throw this on. We've proven it worked before. Rather have a sucker minnow on today, but uh, I'll take a dead stick over no dead stick. So let's go ahead and toss that down. And we'll set it right about there. Let's go ahead and get our digging rod set up and uh, see if we can call some fish in. So today on the jigging rod, I actually cut off that uh, gold slab wrap and we're going back to the uh, Fire Tiger rip and wrap. Got that on a medium Della Bay rod with a Shimano Sedona 500 reel. And I'm using six pound suffix. Let's go ahead and get that down there and uh, see if we can call in some fish today. All right, we're down. And uh, we'll see you guys underwater. Oh, look at this. Look at them, guys. Nice. That came in fast. Big old bass. Oh, don't get up. Don't get up. Oh, nice. Look at that, guys. First fish right there. There's a nice bass. That was so cool. All right, popped right out. He inhaled that bait. That was awesome to watch on camera. All right, let's go ahead and let that one go. Man, that guy came in just fast. Inhaled it. Goodbye. One thing I like about this rip and wrap by Rapala, or depending on what part of the world you're in, Rapala, but uh, I like it because it's got a, when you snap it, I don't know if you guys can hear that. The rattle vibrates the water really good and you can actually feel that vibration come back into the backbone of the rod, right to the reel. So give it a nice big snaps like that. Definitely triggers some action down there. I'm gonna keep jigging and hopefully we can get another chance at another fish. And he's gone. One of these days I want to see a pike come in and eat a bluegill as it's staring at my bait. I'm thinking it's bound to happen someday. Never know what the weeds are going to bring. Look at this guys, look at this, another bass. Another bass. Got him! Oh! Just ripped it out of his mouth. Oh, bummer. I don't think he's gonna come back either. Oh, no. Now you win some, you lose some. He was definitely hungry. Just stick, couldn't stick him like the last one. It's pretty cool though. Just a little bit of operator error there. And uh, we're back to jigging, so. Been ripping down there for another hour or two since that last bass came through and was hoping for a redemption. But uh, just a couple of small bluegills and that was about it. We got until next Saturday to target these species. Uh, walleye, pike, bass, pretty much the game species close here in Minnesota on the 27th, which I believe is Saturday. 
So we're gonna try to make the most of this week. Get out today, and uh, I'm gonna try to get out a couple more times. Maybe even get up to Malax for one last walleye session. But good news is that those that are still watching, there's a late season special regulation on Malax Lake to target catch and release pike, which pretty much all I like to do anyways is catch and release. So I don't live too far away from Malax Lake, so we're going to be up there for the next month, hopefully till the end of March, targeting monster pike with the underwater camera. So if we can get into some, it's going to be some good ones. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, we'll see you back for another video.